Betsy Nadritz is digging deeper. She spoke one on one with the governor about that plan this afternoon. What did she have to say, Lindsay? Well, the governor's plan was released just one day after that deadly shooting, but she told me that wasn't the reason it was put out now. She told me conversations about this plan have been happening, uh, were happening last week. Violence offers nothing, answers nothing, solves nothing. It must end. Governor Kate Brown's plan that hopes to end that violence involves all levels of law enforcement, including the FBI and Oregon State Police. Portland police resources have been stretched thin, so her plan also asked for the Clackamas and Washington County Sheriff's offices and Gresham Police to provide personnel and resources to help. All three agencies told me they don't know what this looks like just yet and didn't know about this request until the plan was released. We were uh, talking with uh, the Sheriff's Office of Washington and Clackamas County in the city of Gresham. This is no different uh, than the mutual aid agreements that have been happening in this region for years. The plan also says the Multnomah County District Attorney's Office will prosecute criminal offenses, including arson and physical violence. That's not new, though. The DA's office said this plan doesn't change the protest policy they implemented on August 11th. Oregon State Police will also continue to help, and the Multnomah County Sheriff's Office will hold anyone booked for violent behavior and make sure there's enough space in the jail. I think the goal here is to keep the community safe and to ensure that protests can continue peacefully, and we're going to give it a shot. Um, if this doesn't work, we'll try something else, but I think it's really important in this time that we try something. Oregon State Police will supply more than two dozen body cameras. I asked PPB if they plan to use the body cameras and was told they're still working out the details. Finally, Governor Brown plans to hold a community forum with Mayor Wheeler, black protest organizers, and other community leaders to talk about racial justice and police reform. I am willing to bring people together to have that conversation. I think it's a really important conversation to have. Well, there's no date set yet for that forum. And late this afternoon, Clackamas County Sheriff Robert Roberts said he will not be sending his staff into Portland, but said they will assist Oregon State Police as needed when resources are tied up in Portland helping. In a statement, he said increasing law enforcement resources in Portland will not solve the nightly violence and now murder. The only way to make Portland safe again is to support a policy that holds offenders accountable for their destruction and violence. I'm also hearing from more law enforcement agents I'll have their statements coming up at 6 o'clock. Reporting live, I'm Lindsay Natterch, Coin 6 News. Yeah.